And hello everybody, welcome to the next set of videos for Let's Play Skyrim, the test series. Continuing on with the uh, Dark Brotherhood quest line here, so let's get to work here. I did install a few uh, extra mods, I got har horse armor now for the horses. So each ho each city has its own unique armor, and the one for uh, Solitude has armor that has dragon bones in it. Not too bad, I mean, mostly um, I got it because... I saw the armor for Shadowmere, which I'll be getting hopefully soon, and he wears Daedric armor, which is like really awesome. So, anyways, you can see my armor is different. Um, I did a lot of smithing off camera, a lot of enchanting, uh, visiting tra 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 trainers, and training up my skills and that. There's a, might be a little bit of a bug though. It's supposed to go poof, vis visible. We'll get the enchantment on this. I don't. I don't know why, I'm going to you know, ask the creator what's going on here, but um, this is the Mithril set here, which, dang it, should go over here. So this is a Mithril, or white set, and I also got the other set too, um, ooh, I didn't do that, did I? I had most of them upgraded, mm, let me find a smith here, if they have one in town, but yeah, I got my smithing up really high, I had everything had to, everything up high, and I re-enchanted, uh, recreated, re-enchanted the armor, and, um, this, oh, darn it, and that didn't fix the problem, so I don't know what's going on with the enchantments on these, I'm hoping the muffle still works, uh, if not, I'm going to be kind of screwed, but we'll see, we, 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 we'll see. So now with any locks around here we're going to a problem. Yeah 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 eat me you bastard. All right now where was I forgot to rudely interrupted here. Oh right. Um I'm rating them up to 55 now which is really nice. I go a little bit higher eventually with armor, you know, skill points and all the getting armor up a little higher than legendary, which you can do. Um Oh hell. What the hell? Okay, what just one shotted me here? Awesome sauce. Okay, well, uh, ha -ha. good thing I saved before I started this. Right. Okay. I haven't been one shotted in a long time. That was weird. Especially with my high armor rating like that. <laughs> so yeah, I saved just before I started recording, so <laughs> good thing. Let me quick save right now, just in case something other doesn't happen again. I one shot it again instantly. Helgen. Destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? Right, okay. Night vision. Don't see anything out there. Alright. Now, where was I going? Oh yes, that's right. I go talk to Delvin back in the Thieves Guild about this amulet. We're doing that last time. Uh, one second. I think you wanted to hear me coughing there, so... Anyways, uh, let's see, I gotta go talk to Delvin, he's back in Riften. Uh, right, Thieves Guild. Can we have, he has extra comments if you talk about the, um, fact that you're in our Dark Brotherhood, and now like your guild ma mistress, or guild master, of the Thieves Guild, and now you're in the Dark Brotherhood. Yeah, you may say a few comments about that. Now, in an icy or in character perspective, I always think of the mithril armor as more for snow type environments where the um, chainmail or the darker one 
is for city type, you know. Because out in the wilderness, be it amongst snow, and snow can be blending in perfectly with the white, or should, okay, make you disappear against the snow, whereas black will make you stand out against snow. So I like to keep the two different armor just for more immersion type thing. Right now I'm not doing any kind of sneaking around, so... You need. Anything for the... Oh. Oh, I see. Well, you're making friends all over, aren't ya? Mm-hmm. So, uh, how is Astrid doing these days? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, but business, of course. What kind of business? Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, no answer. I don't want to know. <laughs> this is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council. Specially crafted for each member. Worth a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood it's business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe. Buy it. This. An Elder Council amulet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait. Just one moment. Here is a letter of credit. Usable by Astrid only. For any service or item I can provide. As per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress. With my regards. So, an amulet from Elder Councilman. Uh... <laughs> oh. Interesting, but yeah, the amulet is from amulet is from an elder councilman. So this guy is apparently an elder councilman. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, and that was just a bit weird. He just jumped like that. Oh, any guys probably want to see as well before we get completely. Durr. Here. Here she is. Here's Esther. Here's this Esther. I have her as a companion, but uh, I don't really like her too much. She actually, she does have to happen to have a. Hold on. Still learning the ropes, but I'll get that.
I guess it'd be safe enough not to talk again. My family kind of tromping around and making noise. Hear something in the background? Please ignore it. Okay. Now, I was saying the Elder Amulet. He must be an Elder Councilman. Which is, oh boy, oh boy, he could try to raise himself above his own station. He's using assassination. <laughs> Good. You're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride at her wedding. <laughs> and they say romance is dead. Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go. And give my best to the bride. Yeah, okay, it's going to be an interesting... <clears throat> going to be interesting time killing a bride at her own wedding in front of everybody. Oi. But, we can do it though. There are places to hide that you can, well, go and hide. So, be no problem about that. Get a more light out, good. You can now see the armor a little bit more better. Um, when we get Shadow Mirror, you can see the um, other armor, in Daedric armor. On it. it looks cool. So let's see. Uh, map. Going to Solitude. Why is it pointing me here? Oh, I know why it's pointing me there. <laughs> um, only way to get access to. Uh, Yearling Greymane, who is the Master Smith Trainer, is to join the Companions. So I had to do at least one a couple of quests for the Companions before I can get hold, hold of Yearling to train me up on smithing. It'll help me boost me along a little bit, because smithing uh, has got to be a bit more difficult. You can't just make a whole crap load of daggers and get yourself boosted up. Okay, let's see. Um, city, 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 city. So, boots. Cape Cowl, Gears, Gauntlets, Bonds, Satchel, and Veil. There we are, nice full dark for city. Now I have a very specific place I'm going to go, if I can actually find my way there. Um, here we go. Come on up here. Don't get myself completely lost doing this. <laughs> I've been up here a couple of times. I found this, like last time we explored up here, like, oh hey, perfect place. Because it's up, out of the way, out of sight. Oops, this way. And the wedding's right over here. Um, over there. You can see it over in the distance there, to the right. Okay, wait till she's up on the balcony and you get your bonus. So let's quick save right here. And just sit, sit here and wait patiently. 
if it takes too long, I'll uh, cut this out and dump it forward. Why, that's not the same thing at all. The Dominion were invaders, conquerors. We had to fight them to preserve our own way of life. My point exact. Come on, my dear. <sighs> the only problem about the Dark Brother it takes, it takes a lot of waiting sometimes. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Didn't take very long. There we go. Quick save. Okay, there's any problems? Like a misser. But I'll take a will. And I'm not even detected. The bride has been murdered. Somebody help! Now let's see. They're looking for me, but I'll wait right here. What was that? Until they calm down. I'm back to hidden again. Sweet, okay. I think I can make this sh jump here. I didn't make it, oh well. There you are. What Astrid ordered me to keep an eye on you. Figured you could use a hand when the chaos erupted. I'll try and hold him off as best I can. You get back to the sanctuary. Oh no, no. To so long. And for my um, breathe, man, thank you for my, oops, excuse me, an impostle's incoming. Guards aren't hostile, just the agents. So I don't have a bounty here. That's a good thing. <laughs> just gonna let them calm down a little bit. And I grabbed the wedding dress just for my. Um, well, and I'll show you my new house. I'll have armor racks and stuff. I'll put the this up somewhere. And. Uh, as a re token reminder of my accomplishments here. I think I've outrun him, I hope. But yeah, so I see no bounty because no one saw me do it, so... Um, if we do it right... Setting... no, stats... Crime... yeah, see? I'm perfectly safe to come back here later. If you do it right, you will never get bounties. Or you get bounties as a temporary, um, you know, then witnesses are killed and, well, no more bounty. <laughs> I also put in a mod to modify the r a crime report radius because it's, it's crazy that a guard can psychically detect a crime 4,000 feet away when they can't even see it. You know, there's no witnesses no to the crime. Who's going to report it? <laughs> okay. Oh, before I forget, because it's going to disturb me till I fix that. There we go. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an Emperor. And now your reward. A unique story to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. 
His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold, simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. Okay, sweet. Tw tw 1,200. And the Spectral Assassin is loose the chance from Oblivion. He was, you know, screwed over in life, but in death he will still surface. Um, let's see, I talked to Gabriella. She's over this way. Ah, oh, you're back. It was good to fight alongside you. I'm sure people won't be forgetting that wedding anytime soon. Nope. Mm. Anytime soon. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, she donned the pit. Well, not pit, but it is um, the nest over here. That's a tame spider, so... Dear sister, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge, and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe I really departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Yeah, this, this particular one, um, uh, oh, it's a pain in the ass. Okay. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow and deliver to him the judgment of Sippus. I really, really Don't hate this. I'm older than you, a lot older. Getting bitten by a vampire when you're ten will do that to a girl. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Just your potions, my dear. Before I forget, um... Fire magic sneak got any heal healing minor healing Have fun Yeah, this is one of those quest quests that's gonna piss me off to no end. And that's one of the quests I got to bring some crap back to one of the Black Briars. And I'll pick up on the run. Me? I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. I am Shadow Scale, you see. Born under the sign of the Shadow. Yeah, um... In Black Marsh, any Argonian born under the sign of the Shadow was put by birth into the training to be trained as an assassin. To become part of the Dark Brotherhood or the other... Um, Let me guess. Astrid failed to mention I'm her husband. She has a tendency to do that. Doesn't want the other to play his favorites. Yeah, anyway, um, so he's born into um, me becoming a assassin. He's not we were given a choice. He was raised to be an assassin. So, uh, it's pretty, you know, vicious, I think, you know. <laughs> not given a choice. Just like, okay, here you go, you know. So, Gaius Morrow. Oh, I hate this quest. It's one of those that got to chase the guy down in a particular city and hopefully kill him. 
Which means I gotta steal his schedule and then track him down. Hopefully, in the right place. I'm gonna be chasing him all over cre freaking creation. Oh boy. Okay. Map. Dragon's Bridge. Have I been there yet? I don't think so. Not yet. Right, so, Caitlyn's farm, and we work our way back. And it's nighttime. The cousin of the Emperor was murdered in solitude at her own damn wedding. Yep, I was there. Of course, I'm not going to tell you I'm did the, I was the one that did the murder, but... <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. This is the way is to Solitude. And this way should be to Dragon's Bridge. So, yep, I gotta track this mother effing bastard down. It's one of those things that really disturbing, or to bother him anyway. Because you can't kill him anywhere, you know, convenient, like out in the wilderness, you know. Has to be, you know, <laughs> in a city, and not in Dragon's Bridge. And they got a wolf or something over here, I'm thinking. Well, whatever it is, I'll let the Dragon Dragon Brick take care of it. Hey guys, I have something come up behind me. Dragon the Bridge. Be lost. The tavern is down the road a piece. Thank you. I was hidden when he did that. He won't know who did it. <laughs> okay, items. Gallus Morrow schedule. Okay, what is today? Today is Fridas. Item. So, Fridas, he should be. Markarth. Right, okay. Probably not gonna be going there. Well, let's, he'd be close. He's close to Markarth. If I can make it. Um. Now the schedule is not absolute either, which is kind of even more annoying, so... Come on, slowpoke. Piece of crap. Okay. Okay, my target's still outside. Where is he outside? Over there. For some bizarre reason. I'm not hitting the Morthal, that would be really annoying. I'm going to give him one hour. See where he is now. Oh, he is in town. Good. I mostly deal with petty and drunken balls. It's too long. Flooded. 
was. He's in the palace, okay. Now there's his heart full of malice. Hmm. Bad fun. Anyway. You know, palace and mouse that rhyme. Anyway. Okay, where are you? Straight ahead. Are you with somebody or are you alone? Next question. He is out in the open. There are some twits coming down here. Go back. Wait till they turn around, head back, and then I'll shoot them in the back. Hope we don't get a bounty. But I'll save beforehand, so. So a quick save. These downwards walk back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's really, really annoying. I don't know what they're patrolling for, but they walk back and forth. Think that'd be far enough away? I think that'd be far enough away. Quick save. Either so. The Silver Blood family will be heard. It's a little quicker than either than I thought it was going to be, because he was actually in the town. There were times I popped around from town to town to town, according to the schedule, and he's not there. He's like somewhere else, or he skipped through and like really quick. It's like ah oh, man. So I got lucky this time. Thank God, small miracles. Okay. Ooh. Frame per second just went to the floorboards, but I'm not surprised. This town is like bloat city. So let's go back to Gabriella. upon that 30 minute mark too so I should probably start considering heading out here. Let me grab the next quest here and I'll shut down well this recording for now and then Ah, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Guy Myers is dead. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. You have done well and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's Cicero, there's been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Great! What did that little friggin' chest have done this time, right? <laughs> what? Uh, thank you, dear. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks. Cut? Damn it, this never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh. I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know. But we've got bigger problems right now. Uh... The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Bizarra, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, it's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind. 
slashing this way and that. It would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget the ranting and raving. About the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood. And Astrid was just a pretender. Yeah, the point. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. After the attack, Onbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Onbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. Bested by a fool. Who's the fool now? Hmm? Though Cicero has a point, the Night Mother is the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood. She is absolute law. Uh, this is the absolute law. Like mother is the second, but nobody ever hears Sisus. But we do hear um, the night mother, and she gives us our contracts, and she tells us what to do. We don't argue with her, you know. Where in the hell is his room? Yeah, I know, I should have tell gonna shut down after this, but let's grab those quick notes here and find out where he's gone. Aha! Okay, let's see... Greatest illusion, uh, greatest, life's greatest illusion, innocence, my brother. That's for the Dawnstar Sanctuary. Hmm. Oops. Oh, I take this. So, back talk to Astrid. Got the other journals here. If you ever want time, you can sit down and read these. There's four of these things. Well, more than that. But, um, Cicero is a rather interesting life he's had. It's a bit mad, but he's, considering the job he's had been put under, I'm not surprised. Uh, <laughs> Have you found something? Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Yep. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void. In as many pieces as possible. I took that prancing fool into my home, and this is how he repays me? He trying to teach you, people. I think you're trying to purge the sanctuary, which, not surprised, giving all things a given. He has every right to purge the sanctuary. This place is completely out of touch with the tradition. No well, tradition was put in place for a reason, like, like the five tenets, you know? So I'm going here and... Oh, it's dark. I'm sorry, boy. I got a new, new, new horse now. Better horse. Ooh, but they are. It glows. Well, what's glowing? Hmm, interesting. Uh, okay, it had armor on. I guess not. Uh, disable. one out.
start off with the armor, then he tossed it. Huh, weird. Disable. Enable. There we go. Full on glowing Daedric armor. Isn't that just like off the wall drooling cool? Anyway, I'm going way, way, way over time here, so I'm going to actually end it right here. I'll see you. I'll pick it up again here in the next video. And you have a great day, folks, and talk later. Goodbye.